everyone and welcome back. Today is Saturday which means our local farmers market is on and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take you with me and then we'll see what veggies we get to make a nice lunch. <laughs> Okay guys, we're back from the farmer's market and look at all the beautiful veggies we've got. We've got some celery, onions, some tomatoes, look at how beautiful they are. We've got some leek, some purple carrots. I'm actually really excited to use them today because I've never had them before. We've got cauliflower, broccoli, some potatoes, fresh thyme radishes they're actually massive um pears and look at these cute little avocados i've actually decided to make a vegetable soup so let's do it okay first things first i started off by washing all my vegetables and peeling the potatoes Then on to chopping the vegetables. I obviously didn't use all of this bunch of celery for the soup, but since I feel things like celery go off quite quickly, I cut up the whole bunch and stored leftovers in airtight containers in fridge and freezer. Now with the potatoes, you want to make sure to cut them small enough so you'll be able to cook them through without overcooking the vegetables. In case you didn't know, the broccoli stem is actually fully edible as well, so make sure not to throw it away. Next we're going to de-stem the fresh lime and set it aside. Now with the garlic and onion, I always chop them up last as otherwise I have tears in my eyes throughout the whole process. Alright, let's get cooking. Here I'm sauteing the garlic and onion in about a teaspoon of olive oil until translucent.
Then I'm adding the potatoes to saute for a little bit before I add all the vegetables. Some water. A fresh vine. Bay leaves. A vegetable stock cube. Some apple cider vinegar, ground white pepper, and then I'm giving it a good stir before I bring it to a boil and then let it simmer until all ingredients do the magic. Now it's time to give it a little taste test and add some salt if necessary. Last but not least, I'm stirring in some rinsed butter beans and it's already time to plate up. Alright guys, that's the finished product. Um, as you probably seen, it turned a beautiful purple colour. That's because of the purple carrots. And I'm just going to taste test now. Alright, thanks so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, you know what to do. And I'll make sure to leave the full recipe down in the description box. And I'll see you in the next video.